it's me tft and yes we are back with another street food review now we're in south shields on the sea road and it is absolutely baltic i'm telling you we are here trying out a place called coleman's seafood temple a lot of people have recommended this place they have been here since guess what 1926 Coleman's okay they're frying their fish and chips in vegetable oil sunflower oil a mixture of both but you know what let's not worry about that just yet let's see what the food looks like and then see what the food tastes like take a look at it here goes nice easy format they aren't getting too extravagant it's just a nice portion of fish and chips you got a layer of chips i will say one thing i could have done with a few more chips but these do look like quality chips they're thick they cut they're thick they cut they thick cut let's try their chips out first i think it's a case of quality over quantity if you're wondering tft why the hell are you stood outside freezing i wanted to do the review inside however they've got that playback the youtube music going on a bit of christmas songs going on and youtube are only going to end up doing me for copyright so that is why i'm out here okay take a look at that fish now this setup here this here we got some curry sauce as well and we got ourselves a bottle of water because they had no rubicon cost me 13 pound 50. i know what you're thinking that is expensive especially for the size of portion they've given me but let's crack open the fish and see what this fish tastes like take a look at it it's got like a really light airy battered to it it's not heavy fish it's very light stupendous absolutely fantastic nice juicy fillet the batter is light however it's got that crunch factor going on that batter is airy it's crispy yeah i'm gonna offer some to my cameraman try some here yeah? he stood here he is absolutely free, uh, freezing and he says to me you know what tft i'm absolutely uh, starving so what do you reckon what, what are you saying uh, nice he likes them he likes them that's my good friend blake who's joining me on my review today as well i'm not too sure about their opening time guys jump on their website find out about their opening times everything you do need to know about this place i will be dropping down in the description box chips wow so far the best fish and chips tft has tried have been i've always said parliament road okay these taste better better quality fish however let's bring the price into motion as well because the price is a massive factor okay let's try out their curry sauce can you hold that for me please young man thank you very much we also got what we always do on tft traditional style when we go fish and chips we always go curry sauce so give that to me there thank you young man let's try out their curry sauce open up the lid and we're gonna do the pork test oops get them seagulls away get them seagulls away frighten them away okay look at that nice creamy get all of that please blake nice creamy looking curry sauce what does it taste like wow a bit salty however the texture the taste everything else is absolute banging guys i'm glad to be back on youtube as you know 
I've been away. I was away for a long time. And what a way to kickstart the channel. Just before Christmas, we've come to Coleman's. One more piece of this fish. Get hold of that please, Blake. Thank you very much. I do appreciate people coming along. Any subscribers out there who want to say, come on TFT, can I come out and do a review with you? You are quite welcome. Okay, let's try. Was that a bit of rain? Was it, was it rain or snow? I felt some go there, that it goes. Let's crack open that fish again to give you a good look at that fillet. Oh, yes. Look how hot and steamy that is. We were gonna film this on the tripod. Oh, look how close these, oh my God, look how close they are. Bird. Come on. Where you go? Absolutely spellbinding. I'm gonna show you some of guys. Hold that for us. We have got ourselves some spectators. Yes, we have. There's our camera set up. And here they are. Big be being watched and being followed by birds everywhere. Let's make sure Mrs. TFT doesn't hear that. Okay, quick rundown. Shoo, 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 shoo. Chuck him a chip over there. Distract him. There we go, guys. Enjoy that. There we go. I knew that. He took it all. Right, guys, quick rundown. Fish and chips for me have been absolutely stupendous, have been spellbinding. However, the price £13.50. I know we're in South Shields, and I know it's a good location. I know the place looks fancy, but £13.50 for a portion of chips. Are you having a laugh? That's what I'm going to ask. £13.50, a lot of money to pay for a. Uh, and this was the large option. They have a smaller option, but that for me wasn't a very big piece of fish and chips. However, when it comes to quality, the quality is definitely there. Curry sauce also was fantastic, maybe a tad bit salty. They do rank highly amongst all the other fish and chips that TFT has done in the past. One more mention about service. Upstairs is the restaurant. Downstairs is where you're gonna get your takeaway. Service wasn't that clever. I thought they were closed, I had to kick the door open. The door was a bit stuck and I was a bit worried, I thought, oh, hold on. So I had to, restaurant looks fantastic, I'm not gonna lie to you. The takeaway they could do, we're doing some work on. Service was average, wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst that we have encountered. So, for everything combined, TFT is gonna be leaving Coleman's Seafood Temple, established 1926, with a very, very respectable nine out of 10. Yep, nine out of 10. They do have another Coleman's in South Shields, not too far from here, but we came here because we thought, what a lovely location by the seaside. They could do with cleaning the windows a bit as well, I'll tell you now. The windows do look a bit dirty. But anyway, nine out of 10 from TFT to Coleman's. I'm gonna wrap this up now because it's absolutely bitter cold. Don't forget guys, if you like that content, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to TFT Street Food Reviews. Oh, I almost forgot. We got ourselves a bottle of water as well because there's no Rubicon. Oh, my hands are that cold. As I sip open, oh, this bottle of Harrogate spring water. I've already got a couple of things left to say. Coleman's, you guys have all officially been food troll certified. And me and my bottle of Highland Harrogate spring water. Shall see you guys for the next one.